Jeff here, Rob and Xander, Rick Nielsen. Haven't seen you actually for a couple months myself. Yeah, that was uh, uh, early spring, 85. Was it, yeah, right before that USO? Yeah, we saw David Byrne yeah. back then. Now we see him on video. Yeah, on the road in nowhere. Fun. Sounds like some of the tours we've been in. <laughs> Anyway, you're doing pretty well right now. I wouldn't say that for you. Now, well, let's yeah. all cross our fingers. You have a new album out, which is Standing on the Edge. Now, that came two years after your last one, which was One on One. Now, why did it take so long to get this new album together? Well, we actually had one in between there. Mm -hmm. uh, Next Position, Please, it was. But uh, we just took our time. Took our time writing the stuff and uh, took our time getting the material together. And the whole time, we were out working, though. So we played all the little towns all around the U.S. and Canada and Europe and did a bunch of We actually took stuff. about four weeks to re record the record, the basic tracks and stuff. And after that, the mix took a little longer than yeah, that. Yeah, it was a <laughs> four-month mix. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> the studios, I guess, needed the work. You know, you, uh, in the past, you've worked with all sorts of different producers. You've worked with Todd Rundgren, also Ray Thomas Baker. Now, this time around, you work with Jack Douglas on the new album. And how did you end up working with Jack? Well, Jack had done our first record, and he also helped us uh, mix the live album. And this is our 10th record, if you counted our little EP that we had out. Uh, Jack did that, too, didn't he? Yeah. It was time to get back and see Jack. Uh, we actually, it was actually mixed by Tony Platt. And we did a lot of the work here in New York, but uh, it was good to see Jack again. It was, he got his Yoko Ono money during the session, so he bought us dinner one night. It was great. <laughs> Why did you use Tony to mix? And it's well, he's an English guy. He was out of work. Felt sorry for him. No? True. True? That's true. All right. You had to <laughs> buy him right. dinner, right? <laughs> okay. We're going to see some more video, and we're going to come back. Uh, Tina Turner's coming up, actually, yeah, as a like matter of fact, within Ooh, 20 Tina. minutes. We've It'll got, be around we've for got that, two right? songs yeah. for her. We're sending her mm. two songs. No kidding. Mm. One is called X-Rated, and one is called uh, Lesson, Lesson in, in Love. love. Mm. Great. Sure. Okay. We'll be back. We crew, would you agree with that? <sighs> yeah, they're, they're produced by the guy that used to produce us, Tom Worman. And uh, I met some of those guys at Roy Thomas Baker's house. And they were party animal dog yeah. freak monsters, sort of like us. Yeah, you know, they say they are what they are. You know, whatever you see on camera or on stage is what they actually are. Anyway, back with Robin Sander, Rick Nielsen. Mm -hmm. And you guys have been on tour with REO Speedwagon, right, recently? You've been mm -hmm. touring around the state. Yeah, let's see. They asked us to do a week with them uh, in April. And then after a week, they found that they couldn't be separated from us. They liked us too much or else they couldn't find anybody else. I don't know what, but they're, we're out with them until September. But we're also doing a bunch of our own shows. We're playing uh, Puerto Rico and Hawaii and Guam and Vancouver and New York and all these other places. Now, aren't uh, both bands from Illinois? Yeah, they live in Beverly Hills. We still live in Illinois. You still live in yeah, Illinois? We, we can't afford to leave. But they really <laughs> consider themselves a, <laughs> a Midwestern band. Uh, well, do you feel I there's... Uh, I don't know. Is Beverly Hills in Illinois? Mm. I think but there is from, a Hollywood Illinois. They still, Illinois. They oh, still yeah. consider Paris themselves. Illinois. Yeah, so. yeah. Paris, Illinois. I think their approach to music, they yeah. still consider themselves a Midwestern band. Now, uh, do you feel there's any type of camaraderie between... You and them because of that, because of your roots? I doubt it. I don't <laughs> Who would be our comrades? <laughs> no, we just, it's two, two bands, and uh, they they're do what they do, and we do what we do, and we just, it's, it's a good show all around. But uh, we'll be done with that September 2nd. And we're doing some shows with Heart, too, and up in the Northeast, and our own shows, and that's work, work, work. Fun, fun, fun. You've got a new member, too, right? Steve Walsh? from Kansas? Is he still playing with you? Was he for a while? That's what we heard. He's been with us since April and he'll be with us till September 2nd when he... I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna go down to Atlanta and fool around down there with, with some new project. We asked him to stay because he sings good and plays keyboards well, but uh, we tried to just get him a job. He liked it, but uh, September 2nd he has to go. He's got some other commitments that he made about a year ago. Have you been sharing lead vocals, Robin? No. Uh, Steve, or, no, or no. he's back? No, probably should be sharing lead vocals with a guy like him, I guess. Nah, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Another suit. Okay. Uh, hey, what do you want to come on here and be candy and gum? No. Let's, okay. take, let's talk dirt. We've got Phil Collins coming up. Don't lose my number within 15 minutes. You guys might need it, actually, <laughs> the way you're going. <laughs> Is my number that's Phil Collins and we're going to be back with a chat with Robin Zander and Rick Nielsen after this word from Skittles. Mm.
we're back with, I'll do it the other way around. Rick okay. Nielsen and Robin Zander have been Oh, I was, I was feeling bad. I know, sorry about You're that. looking bad, too. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, you are noted for having one of the biggest guitar collections, right, in, in the country. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I thought you were going to say something else. No, no, I haven't heard that. No, okay. uh, no, guitar collections. Uh, how many do you have now? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's billions, I think. No, I don't know. I have a couple hundred. See, did you spell my name right? There yeah, all right. It's okay, it's all right. You know, right. my mom might be watching or somebody. You know. So do you have them custom made or what? What is this? Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them, uh, uh, I have sometimes I have dreams. Like the, I had the five neck one made and I had this dream and it was, my guitar roadie says it's more of a nightmare than a dream, but because uh, he has to tune the thing. It's got about 80 strings on it. Really? And then I have uh, the one that looks a lot like me. That's my Uncle Dick. And uh, it was on the Next Position Please album cover. And I got a lot of the old vintage stuff. And I've got a new one being made. It's a synthesizer, and it looks like a saxophone. And it's, yeah, you have to play it like this. And it's really it's weird looking. Now, do you actually come up with the designs, or do you just have these dreams? I have the ideas. I have the or? ideas, and I sketch them out, you know, draw little pictures. And, but I'm not, I'm not a commercial designer at all. Yeah. But it's, it's just a... If you, I get bored just playing the normal stuff. And you have that sweater collection, too, all the different... Yeah. You Maybe still have that lady? Where, where is she from? She's little from England. Little, little old lady. But Every time I say old, she gets ticked off because she's about 30. <laughs> but she's little. She's, she's not from old. England. And she makes all your sweaters. Yeah, right? I send her little pictures, and she makes me look better. Now, uh, your last video, you had uh, French director Yus Jacquin directing it, right? How did you uh, hook up with him? We could never pronounce his name, so we just say you. That's what we call him. <laughs> you. How'd you hook up with him? Uh, through the record company. They picked him out. Plus, uh, he did sort of a softcore porn thing that, that I guess Boney saw. So that's we wanted to see what we could do. He did a manual or something like that. And uh, it was really set up through the record company. We didn't we didn't pick him on our own. We wanted uh, Godly and Krim. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you want? I'll, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> um, are you going to have any more videos from this album? Yeah, I think we're going to do Little Sister next. Or She's Got Motion. Probably both of them, but we'll do Little Sister. Maybe with Godly and Krim? Or... Yeah, yeah. We're gonna That'd try to do that. Yeah, we like them. Tell them, hey, uh, how about a big point pointer for them? Okay, well, we have to get back into some video. You've got to go on your way and continue on your tour. Thank you, Robin and Rick. Thank you, and Rick we have you. the Starship with Be My Lady coming up. Whee.